Welcome to another LHB Last Days update. Take a listen to this verse, these verses in Revelation. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. That's Revelation chapter 13, and it speaks of the whole world worshiping the Antichrist and Satan. And as we know from the book of Daniel, the Antichrist will be coming from the people that destroyed the temple in AD 70, which were the Romans. So the Antichrist will be coming from the Roman Empire, or modern-day Europe. And what, pray tell, is sitting over there right now as a shining jewel to all the nations? Well, the Vatican itself. You're going to see certain charismatic leaders. Um, today you'll see two. One is a very um, popular woman um, that creeps in to a lot of homes through the television sets and deceives a lot of women. As a matter of fact, there is a scripture I'd like to uh, point out concerning this, and I'm speaking of Beth Moore. Now, what's sad is Beth has the ear of a lot of people, millions of women, millions and scripture says about this in 2 Timothy 3.6. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins led away with diverse lusts. Did you get that? The scripture says these creep into houses and lead away silly women. Now it's amazing how the scriptures isolate women in this area because... Uh, they're influenced by people like Oprah Winfrey and Beth Moore and Joyce Meyer and Paula White. It's amazing how Satan uses women to entice women. It's just, a, it's just a, an amazing thing there. And um, the scriptures tell us that. Thank God, you know, not all women are silly women. Obviously, this is not concerning all women. Only those who give the ear to such people as Beth Moore, Joyce Meyer, Paula White, etc., now, for some reason, women follow leaders like Beth Moore. Even though the Bible says otherwise, they follow anyway, blindly. Now, the other individual we're going to see is Lou Engel. Lou Engel is a false prophet, um, often seen on like the Daystar channel and all that. He s supposedly speaks for God. You're going to see this individual do something unbelievable. Basically, both Beth Moore and Lou Engel have unwittingly or wittingly or knowingly brought their followers back to Rome. They are uniting with the false Roman church that will produce the Antichrist and false prophet. You can learn a lot about the Catholic Church in our video series, Mystery Babylon, which we've already completed. Uh, and you can check those out in the video archives. But what these individuals are doing, and there's a lot more, Joyce Meyer, Kenneth Copeland, a whole bunch, a lot of the charismatic leaders, they are bringing their followers back to the feet of Satan, the synagogue of Satan, which is a Roman Catholic monstrosity. And I, and I, I say this all the time, people that know me know that I'm an ex a former Catholic, saved by grace through faith alone in Jesus Christ, through hearing and believing what the written word of God said, it set me free. And whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Now, watch this with caution. Keep in mind that these individuals may be likable. Beth Moore certainly is likable. Um... But again, she has the ears of many a silly woman. And that's just a sad fact. 
And so watch this with, uh, through the lens of scripture and uh, notice the, the foundation being set for the one world Roman religion that will be run by the false prophet and their political leader, the Antichrist, under the banner and power of the dark one himself, the dragon, Satan. God bless my friends. Something that God showed me sitting out on that back porch. He put a picture, I've explained to you before, I'm a very visual person. So he speaks to me very often and putting a picture in my head. And it was as if I was raised up looking down on a community as I saw the church in that particular dimension, certainly not all dimensions, not even many, but in what we will discuss tonight, the church as Jesus sees it in a particular dimension. Before class, for you online, I'll explain to you that I have asked some volunteers to come forward representing churches in a small town. Now, your own church may not be represented up here tonight. Your own church may not be by denomination on this stage, but all in the world we're doing here is giving a representative of all the rest. So what I'm going to ask you to do is that if you were appointed to be a volunteer this evening, would you make your way onto this stage? I was going to say, where is my other Methodist? I thought maybe you were missing church today. Now, mind you, of course, these would be filled with men and children, but this is a women's Bible study, so just have a little bit of imagination with me. When God showed me this in my imagination, they were large and packed full of people, and I was looking from way up here down on all of these, and I want to explain to you in just a moment what I saw. I want you to think back as you were in your homework this week, which I just know you're doing, I just know you are. I want you to remember that we called a place by a fictitious name. We called it Less Than Land. I want you to picture that you have come with me to the town or to the village of Less Than Land. And I want to introduce you to what these churches are. What I've done in this particular class that makes this group so special, and I'm loving this about you who are online, we are a very interdenominational group. And so I've literally gotten to position people from these denominations and from these backgrounds into these groups. So that just thrills me. So this part, we're not playing. However, I have just made up the name from familiar names of churches that I've seen through the years. Right over here to my right, you see First United Methodist Church of Less Than Land. <laughs> right behind them, you would find just down the street, just across the street, really, you've got Christ the Redeemer Lutheran Church. Every single one of my sisters in this area attends a Lutheran church, which thrills me. These all attend a Methodist church. I can't tell you how I love that kind of diversity. What I've asked these ladies to do right here, now this makes it a little bit different because they do go to different churches. But what I've asked them to represent tonight to us is an African-American church that we're going to call Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church. Is that good? Did I do good? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right back here, I want you to meet St. Anne's Catholic Church of Less Than Land. These ladies come, every single one of them, although they don't go to one Catholic church, every single one of them attend a Catholic church, probably right here in Houston. And I am so thrilled that they are here. What I we wanted to wash your feet, Lou, but we found that it's not really practical here. Ma simbolicamente, io voglio baciare i piedi di Lou. E come per quello che noi possiamo rappresentare la Chiesa Cattolica, noi cattolici vogliamo compiere questo gesto di umiltà. We want to, Lou, kiss your feet as Catholics and just honor you with this gesture right now. Raise up Catholics all over the world. One billion souls of Catholics to come into the kingdom of God. The hour is coming. The chains are broken. The loosing of the Lord upon every single Catholic in the world.
that they would see the baptism of the Holy Spirit. A revival will spring forth in the Catholic Church like never before. We're just in a holy moment right here. I want to do the same thing for you. Come, my brothers and sisters. I want you to come here. Come on, the elders, just come. I want to join this thing. This is holy stuff. Signore, io ti ringrazio. Jesus, I thank you. Perché tu stai rompendo lo spirito di divisione because you're breaking the spirit of division tu prepari un grande risveglio in you're preparing a great revival all'inizio di questo nuovo millennio in the event of this great call è quello che hai compiuto 110 anni fa and that which you wanted to do 110 years ago lo puoi fare ancora you're gonna do it again fallo ancora signore do it again fallo ancora signore fallo ancora signore Manda la potenza del suo spirito spirit. e battezza questa generazione nello spirito del tuo amore. Oh, il tuo spirito, let your spirit come again for a billion Catholics. We got a brother who is over evangelism in this archdiocese. We want to pray. I want you to lift, stretch out your hands. We're going to pray for the evangelization, the mighty evangelization. Are the peoples of Los Angeles go ahead Heavenly Father you taught us through Saint Paul in his first letter to the Corinthians that the eye cannot say to the hand I do not need you nor can the head say to the foot I do not need you But the truth is, we all need each other. And Lord, we know that you want to bring revival in our world and in our nation. But we will not have revival until we have reconciliation. And as Elijah prepared Elisha and Israel for revival first they had to be reconciled to turn the hearts of the fathers to the sons and the hearts of the sons to the fathers and so heavenly father it is my prayer going forward from this historic day we can all forgive each other we have to forgive each other and if we become united our witness will be powerful in the world we need to unite and so the Holy Father Pope Francis has made a covenant a covenant for Christian unity so as his representative here in the local church I make a covenant with Lou Engel and all of you here that going forward from this day we must fly united so Lord I say this to every person with absolute sincerity and authenticity I need you I need you I need you the Lord Jesus wants unity father Abba daddy let them be one as you and I are one and so let us pray and work for unity so the witness of Christ will be most powerful in our troubled world. So Lord, I ask you to send your spirit of healing and love and transformation upon every good soul that came here today. Bless and strengthen them and let us make a covenant to work 
with Lou Engel, who is our leader in this movement yeah. of reconciliation. Yeah. Yeah. Let us make a covenant and work together as a united body, as a family in Christ, so we can have love and reconciliation in our own Christian family. Amen. Right, stretch out your hands right now. There's millions of Hispanics in the Catholic churches. We're praying for such an hour. We had a dream of a million Hispanics coming to Christ. How many of those would be Catholics? We pray for the re-evangelization. Jesus, let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for every Catholic, Father, Hispanic. Father, that they have heard your word. Father, bring salvation. Bring blessing, Father. Bring revelation of Christ, Lord. We are one in Christ. So we pray, Father, for every priest, Father. We pray for every church, Father. We pray for the revelation of the beauty of Jesus to shine brighter than anything else, Lord. We pray for our brothers and sisters that are Catholics, Father, and we bless them. We love them, Father. We thank you for their lives, their faith, and their sincerity of their hearts, Lord. We thank you, Father, because they are an example for us in many ways. And even now, Father, we love them. And we thank you for bringing one million Catholics, Lord, to the knowledge of Christ, Lord, so that they might know the beauty and the salvation and the glory in Jesus' name. Padre, te pedimos en esta hora por todos los hispanos católicos, Padre, bendecimos a todos estos hermanos y hermanas para que conozcan la verdad de Jesucristo, para que tu Espíritu Santo los llene y los visite. Señor, oramos por salvación, visita con tu poder y tu presencia poderosa toda la iglesia católica hispana en este país y en Latinoamérica, Señor. Te lo suplicamos en el nombre de Jesús y gracias, Señor, porque tú quieres que todos los hombres sean salvos y vengan al conocimiento de la verdad en Jesucristo. Amen. Let's give a shout to God for what he's doing. God!